So hi, I'm Kai. Um, I just wanted to talk about the power of visualization because um, I just finished reading this book called uh, You're a Badass at Making Money by Jen Cicero. And she touched upon this in her book. And I, I've talked about it before, but I just wanted to kind of have another reminder about it. But um, a couple of years ago, I posted a video on YouTube uh, about the power of, the power of visualization. You can actually check it out at my Vault Key TV um, YouTube channel. But the whole point was that if you visualize something, that's what you're going to receive. So if you are visualizing negative things, um, you send out negative energy, you're going to attract those same negative things back into your life. It's kind of a similar concept with worrying too much. So what you worry about is what you're going to receive. So power visualization on a positive front is what you think about that's positive and um, what you do to make it happen for positive is what you will get back. So I kind of wanted to share my examples of this and and how it is, how it's in the divine for that to work is um, for those of you that don't know me, I actually just had a baby nine months ago and I took a self-funded maternity leave, which basically meant I used my savings to not be working. So it also meant that I was going to start a new job. So the first month or first couple months or so I was on maternity leave, I just kind of hung out, enjoyed myself. And then I started looking for work, knowing it was, it might take a little while to find something. Well, it really did. It took me longer to find a job than it has in the past for me. Um, I, I think, like to think I'm reasonably hireable, but, um, I wasn't even getting any part-time job offers. That's how bad things were going. And it was the end of the, it was like the end of March or no, the end of the end of February. And I told my husband, I said, look, if I don't find something in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to like be a real estate agent because I don't know what else to do. Because like, I'm already spending my savings. So why not just spend my savings and at least um, have somebody to show for it? So, but I, I just stay positive. You know, I just kept, kept applying for jobs, kept putting myself out there, um, doing the best I could to prepare for interviews. Well, it was um, this one day, I actually ended up getting two interviews in, in, in a day for a full-time job. And I was like, wow, that's really impressive. That's very exciting. And then, um, as my husband is walking out the door the morning of, that I was supposed to have the two interviews, I actually got a call for a third interview that at that same time. And then um, I got a call like an hour or so later for a fourth interview. Mind you, this was all in one day. So at that moment, I was, I don't know, feeling pretty confident that I was gonna find, find a job soon. And it was kind of just, just saying to the universe, I'm ready, you know, I'm ready for whatever you have. I visualize success for myself and I really need to make this work because not, no longer is it just me. It's not self preservation anymore. It's also about, you know, taking care of my baby and making sure that she's cared for and of course you know making sure my spouse is cared for as well and that we can you know make ends meet because at that point we couldn't even afford diapers like we had overdrafted buying diapers and um so long you know long example short i actually ended up finding getting a job offer the next week for a job that i'm currently very happy at i even negotiated my salary which i had never even done before and it was just really really awesome that happened i mean that's that's really just one example I have of the multiple that have happened to me in my life to know that the power of realization really does work. Like you just, if you want something good to happen to you, you have to really visualize it and like visualize it coming towards you. And if you want something bad to happen to you, then visualize that and then you'll get that. So it's, it's whatever you think and want is what you will attract back to you because the universe always responds to our wishes and our desires even if sometimes they're negative they're subconscious so that's that's what i wanted to say um i just felt really inspired reading that book and um just kind of things i've been i've been saying so you just gotta you just gotta go for it have faith and i, I trust it will all work out over